What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Top Flight Podcast. Here we bring you the best of Austin FC along with world football. Thank you so much for all the support. If you like the content that we're putting out, please make sure to like and subscribe. Let's go. Hey, guys. Welcome to the Top Flight Podcast. Uh, today's show, we're going to do a little rundown of uh, the past events for Austin FC. Um, we're going to talk about the Dallas game and then the San Antonio game. And then we're also going to give our, uh, our thoughts for the LAFC game. So starting off the bat, um, we're going to talk about Dallas, the Dallas game. And in the Dallas game, it was interesting because uh, Wolf pretty much emptied out his bench for this one. He said, I gave, uh, he gave uh, his strongest players, we can say, a chance versus um, Houston. And then so the second game against Dallas, he gave the rest of the, the squad a, a, a jump. So uh, 3-3. Penalties, we lost in penalties. Um, so, what did what did you think, H, of the the performance in, of the Dallas game? Well, let's just start right off the bat by saying thank you everybody for being here. Shout out to Top Flight Podcast, we're Austin TV, holding it down. You know how we do. Um, I thought it was kind of funny, man, that we had this incredible, crazy conversation on Twitter, and then Josh Wolf went in and just said, "You know what? Fuck all y'all. I'm gonna start my B team. I'm gonna do what I want." Yeah. I'm the coach. I'm not going to fall to any pressure from the outside. You know, we're going to play with my system and we're going to build up from the back. And the B team that was brought on, let's not even lie, dude. It was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. held their ground. Even though they went down 2-0, there was a lot of flat-footed stuff going on in the box for those two goals. Um, the goalie to me was kind of sluggish. There was this, The second goal was absolutely terrible. Like, he just kind of just looked at it. I think it was Stuber, if I'm... Not lying. Uh, Freddie Kleeman on defense definitely showed up for me. I thought he was pretty good. And we were even saying, we were saying bring on uh, Freddie Kleeman. Last week, whenever we were shooting, we were like, Freddie Kleeman needs to come on, give him a shot. Mm -hmm. He came on. He did his thing for me. And then uh, Diego Fagundes showed up pretty good. He made a a penalty to tie it up 2-2. And then Cecilio came in and topped it off 3-2. And then after that, we just couldn't really hold on to that lead. To me, it's probably going to be an issue, bro, going into the season, holding on to these leads because we just can't seem to hold on. Yeah, We can't seem yeah. to hold on. I mean, it was, it was, for me, it was great to see the entirety of the squad almost because we have a couple, a handful, some injuries. Uh, uh, Zan couldn't make it in time to play. But from the, the Houston game, seeing our strong 11, in my opinion, and then to the Dallas game, seeing what we have options for that starting 11, mm-hmm. to see both of them was really good and – I, I agree with – I was impressed with Clement. I was also uh, impressed with Fagundes. Uh, I think he did good. Um, you know, the front three was uh, Gallagher playing as a striker, number nine. Um, Kokuta Mane was left, and then Strude was right, right? Yeah. Yeah. Strude, I, I, like, I, I, I liked Strude. He was a good – he was good. He, he, was, he scored a goal, so um, – and then, yeah, I mean – we. I don't know if you want to get into San Antonio just yet, but let's not go into that. Yeah, let's let's talk about how this B team, as everybody was saying, and they actually showed up to be pretty damn good. They came back from 2-0 and they showed character. You know what I mean? That's something that we hadn't seen in this in this mm-hmm. team yet. Mm-hmm. And you know they they came in, did their thing, held their ground, and s- some people even on Twitter were saying that starters came in and threw the game away. Mm. You know, I mean, because whenever whenever they came in, nothing really changed. You know what I mean? Uh, Cecilio did good because he actually earned that PK, made it mm-hmm. himself. You know, he didn't make it later on. But to me, those PKs didn't really mean much. They didn't really, they didn't really mean much to me, like some PKs in this small cup. You know, to me, the 90 minutes mattered. Um, Cecilio did pretty good. We were saying Stroud did pretty good. Uh, actually, they did pretty damn good. Stroud's goal was out mm-hmm. of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. And it was a really good finish. A really good finish. So, yeah. mm-hmm. shout outs to that guy. Um, I think in that game, probably the, the best of the Dallas game to me was Freddie Kleeman. That was the best part because he actually gave me confidence in that back four that we didn't have the past couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? Because of, of, of what we had seen so yeah. far. Yeah. What would you think about him, Freddie? I- I think he did good. I want to see him in there more often. And against LAFC, I want to see him in there, no doubt about against it. Against LA, you want to see Freddie Kleeman? Yeah, no doubt about it. Damn. Damn. No, doubt about it. no doubt about it. Damn. That's no good, man. It, I agree with no Bali, bro. Damn. I agree with Bali, bro. That's going to be tough. Who? Him and who, though? Him and who? Uh, I don't know. Who's That's his partner? Yeah. I'm going to be honest That's with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Listen, bro, listen, listen. Cascante or Romagna or Beasley? I'm going to be honest, bro. Listen to this, bro. I think it'd be Beasley, bro. Listen to me. Listen to me, bro. Wolf 
already has his four that are starting. And if you, you know, we watched the game yesterday kind of far, but I saw something and I, and I noticed something. The back four, that's going to be the, the defense that he's going to start with, I bet, because he didn't really make much changes to that back four from what I saw. And they also played a lot of the second half, that back four. So I, I think he's going to go with Beasler, uh, Romagna. In the center, and I don't yeah. know how that's gonna work and out for yeah, us. I don't. Stanley, the the left back, Eden Stanley. Yeah, uh, man, I was impressed with him over uh, Sweat, man, over Sweat's game yeah. against Houston compared to what he had in the first forty-five for versus Dallas. Yeah, and he isn't. He's like what trying out? Is that the thing? He's not he's really on, part of the squad. On, 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 on trial, trial. Yeah, on okay. trial, on, on trial. trial. Okay, what, whatever yeah, the hell well, that, that was. Is. I think yeah. he had a good game. Yeah, uh, think, better yeah. than Sweat's performance um, from Houston's game. So it's it's because these these players, bro, they they all have something that the other player doesn't have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. it's I, what I think and what a, a lot of people have been saying is that this team at some point is going to come together and they're going to click and it's all going to work out. We're going to be in like fairyland or whatever. But what if what if that don't happen, bro? Yeah. What if mm-hmm. what if we're a bottom fucking table team and we're scraping every year? You know what I'm saying? Because we just <laughs> didn't get the yeah. right guys in the back four. You know I don't. I, mean? I don't think. I don't I think not. we'll be that, bro. I don't think. Hopefully we'll be that, not. Bro. That's. I don't think so. Okay, hopefully bro. not. Hopefully not. No. Hopefully we don't ever get to that point because yeah. we got two good guys running this show: Claudio Reyna and Josh Wolf. Those yeah. guys yeah. do not mess around. Yeah. Yeah. They don't mess See, this project, like by all looks of it, it seems like it's gonna be legit, bro. Like they're gonna, you know what I mean? Try to build a, a badass squad. And I'm a big fan of Reyna, bro. You know his time. Yeah, I like his, Reyna. Look at his resume. See where he come from. You know. So, wrapping up the FC Dallas overall score. I mean, overall thoughts on the score, 3-3, three, three. should have won the game, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, we could have won the game. Should have won the game? Should have won the game. Uh, Melo, should we have won that game? I don't know, man, because um, I feel like I feel like Dallas is a tough opponent, and yeah. they have really good players like that guy, Vargas, who's, who's that, that Venezuelan winger. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we got pretty lucky. Uh, getting that draw and then losing out on pens, but I think for that one the result doesn't really matter. Like to be honest, like like uh, the performance was great. Yeah, right, not bad. You know what, man? Like I started cutting, but like I think we could have. In my opinion, I think different. I think we could have won both Houston and Dallas games, bro. Mm. There was a chance to win the, the, bro. The way we started against Houston was awesome, bro. Was they good. were in it. They were going hard. They were trying to score. They were in their box. Houston had yeah. nothing, bro. Nothing, bro. And we were up two zero, right? Yeah. So maybe that the they capitulated after second half. The new guys came in, and then you know Houston comes back. Some cheap goals. Okay, we get it. We took the L. We go to Dallas, and we we start off the opposite way. We start off you know lose, going down 2-0, and then the B team playing. So when the, in the second half, I feel like the B team was it was amazing seeing them be like fuck that. Now nah, we're gonna fucking try to because the B team also started the second half. Yeah. And I wanted them, to, and they came back. And mm-hmm. then the subs, which are supposedly our starters. I feel like they also came in with that type of mentality, like, come on, let's get this dub. And they did. And yet again, at 85th minute, we get scored on and versus, penalties. Versus so, uh, Houston, though, we, we, we were up 1-0, mm-hmm. went into the half, yeah. uh, Pochettino's free kick. Mm-hmm. And then the, the first, like, 10 minutes of we the second half, too. it yeah. flipped. Yeah, it went they went up 2-1. Yeah. Yeah. And then we tied it up, yeah. and then they ended it up Winning taking again. over 3-2, and that's yeah. how, how it, 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 yeah. uh, it, it finished. But... I guess right now would be a good time to move on to the next game, which was 5-1 win against uh, San Antonio. I was going to say Pochettino with two banger yeah. free kicks, bro. Banger free kicks. And, we... and, and you know what? Shout out to the only person that's been vocal about him, Nick, bro. Yeah, yeah. Nick, he really has been the only Nick, one, bro. Nick has, been, Nick has been the only one that has been calling for his name, that he's it's like hype for him, you know what yeah. I mean? Because nobody... Mm-hmm. Nobody... I mean, I, well, no, because there's a lot of people on like Slack that are really hype, but they just... Yeah. You know, they just give him like nicknames. I guess like now we know Tommy our, our, our free kick taker. Yeah, back. we know nah, that definitely. he's the only, he's yeah. the one that is gonna, he's gonna be our free kick taker. Yeah, no doubt yeah. about that. No doubt, but, but two dude. banger free kicks. Though, lasso, banger free lasso. kicks. First one was nice. It was right in the corner. This second one went in off the crossbar. Yeah, mm-hmm. lasso, so campanita. incredible. De campanita, bro. De campanita. Yeah. De campanita. So I guess we got our uh, free kick takers. Yeah, for yeah, sure. sure. Tomas sure. Tomas yeah. Pochettino is for sure gonna be that guy to take our free kicks. Cecilio was good. Jose is good, oh, yeah. but Tomas Pochettino yeah, should nah, be Tomas that guy. Tomas Pochettino is the guy, the guy. The he, should, he should definitely the be that guy. Uh, Cecilio got a, a brace that game. 
Alex Ring got the PK for his birthday. I think yeah. that's why they gave it to him. Yeah. It, when I when I saw the way that he shot it, if the goalie would have dived the other way, he could have easily blocked it. Yeah. So to me, it wasn't a well shot PK, but he, at least he, he made the keeper go the other birthday, way. At least, at least, yeah. at least he made the, people, the keeper go the other way. But if the keeper would have dived the other way, easily, easily saved. Yeah. So I don't think he should and, be our regular PK. And on taker. the San Antonio game, dude, I was like, we have to before the after Dallas, I was like, we should keep a clean sheet against San Antonio, bro. To yeah. boost up because we've been letting in goals, dude. So we versus a, a a lower team, obviously we're gonna win the game. Nobody was like, oh, it's gonna be a game. No, Austin's just gonna show out, gonna uh, play light, no go too hard, no try to injure yourself, kind of you know against a, a lower team. Mm -hmm. And you know, so I was like, okay, let's keep, let's keep a clean clean sheet against these guys. Yeah. And they scored. I didn't see the goal. Did you see the San Antonio I saw goal? The goal. How let was me, the goal? Let me just I let me, it was only let on me just side. break it down to you because right. look, listen to this, bro. Listen to this. I was playing the bombo, you know, having a good time watching the game. We were up at that point. I think it, I think it was three one. I mean three three zero at the time. Yeah. I, I, whatever. It was a complete shutout. We were dominating these guys. Everybody was having a good time. We were celebrating. We were at home. We were finally winning against a team that we should be beating. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was playing the bombo. I don't know what song it was. I think it was Macala or La. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever it was, right? I see them trying to play in the back. The ball goes to Stuver. What mm. does Stuver do? He tries to clear it. How do he kick it? Like if he was, I don't know, fucking ten years old or something. Oh. The guy, the guy just cleared it right to the guy's boot right in front of him. Oh, San Antonio so FC. A horrible defense. Shit, shit clearance. Shit clearance. He was just trying to boot it. It went right to the dude. Literally, the guy just said, "Hey, thanks, man. Goal." Oh, okay. That's why we don't have a fucking See. clean sheet. And you know what? That's gonna be the reason why Tarbell is gonna start versus LAFC. I'm sorry. I'm just speaking facts. Mm, that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. That's the. A fact. We keeping a clean sheet would have been so awesome, bro. It would have it would have literally put a calm on us going into LAFC, but we did not keep a single. I mean, I'm not gonna count any other game that started before Houston, bro. I'm looking at Houston, Dallas, San Antonio right now. Yeah. The games coming up, LAFC. I'm not talking about before. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So in those three games, we didn't keep a clean sheet, bro. I was over yeah, there chilling, playing my bombo. I saw that the error. Threw my damn little stick up, bro. <laughs> oh. I, I, literally, I literally threw it up. I literally threw it up, bro. I literally threw it up. Like, bro, are yeah. you serious, bro? Like we can't. Yeah. This is this is pro. Nice. This is this is pro level. That's like something you do when you're like 14 playing for Vipers. You know what I'm saying? Like you you can't be doing <laughs> this at this level. This is this is a probably like a what is it like a 40 million? Like. How much did they pay for that oh, whole 30, training I'm 30, 30. This is a $30 million training center. You're here with us in FC. You can't be making those errors at, at this level, mate. Yeah, you, yeah. Just, you just can't yeah, be doing can. it. And people might say, oh, this guy's being too harsh. This guy's being a critical whatever. I'm just being straight up. Because who who's the one at the end of the day that pays for the ticket to go see these guys? Whoever's whoever's playing. Who is it? It's us. Who the pays fans. for it? The fans. Me. I put in the work to pay for these tickets. So I want to at least have so, somebody that knows what the fuck is doing. Back so his yeah. mistakes is not that he made a mistake in a tactical mistake, but he just literally did something that was like, what? Like, so like, come yeah, on. You know what I mean? Like, like amateur, amateur. Exactly. Real, real like amateur, he looked bro. like, um, you know what I mean? Real Obviously amateur. he's a professional. I'm not dissing yeah. his professionality. I'm just yeah. saying that those mistakes, it triggers us because we're like, what? Like, it like, we can't understand how basic that was to not do, you know? What and I mean? he's, He's not a bad keeper, bro. Like, the guy is obviously here for a, a reason. They obviously yeah. saw something in him that made yeah. him come over here. The guy is not a bad keeper. The guy is obviously pro. I'm just saying, though, you should be you should be doing better. You should be thinking better, like, okay, there's a guy right in front of me. There's, there's a chance that I might fucking hit this bitch wrong. Think about it. Yeah. Pump fake it a little yeah. bit. Let him flinch and go back the other way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do something. Think with your head. Don't just always don't just always want to think like, oh shit, the ball's coming to me. I gotta boot it. Yeah. Keepers nowadays gotta be good with their feet. Am I right? Yeah. Keeper, have to be keepers gotta be good, right, Melo? Yeah, and and that's it's a good point because to me, in the game against Dallas, I thought Brad Stewart looked good, at least more confident with his feet, which is mm -hmm. kind of concerning because Tarbell looked a little more shaky against Houston yeah. with his feet. And we know that Wolf is going to want to play from the back. So yeah. who do we start, man? Tarbell Tar or Stewart? Tarbell, bro. Tarbell. Tar Tar we're, Tar we're, we're in a bit of a rut Tar in that one. But we knew that because, look, Tar back then when we signed, when they released the squad, we started to establish players. We knew that goalkeepers were like, okay, they're going yeah. like, they're not going – hard in the paint for a goalkeeper. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? They focus more on getting Toto and Cecilio. They could have spent a little decent more money and get something better, but yeah. I want to see Brady have... Scott. Yeah. You want to see Brady Scott? I want to see Brady Scott. I want to see him how he is with his feet, bro. Hey, Austin, oh, yeah, hey, wait. Yeah. We, hey, wait. we might yeah. see him next game. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hey, next hold on. Game, though, maybe. Hold on. 
not only do we want to see Brady Scott, Austin FC is going to throw into that rotation. You know who else? Anybody know? Uh, tryout player. Tryout player. What's yeah. his name? Uh, you, know should know. Name. Oh, you should I know. You should know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Is, wait, Pulisic. Will oh, Pulisic. Pulisic. Will Pulisic. Oh, yeah. Will Pulisic. Oh, yeah. Hey, and also, oh, shit. shout out Will. The R Will. Shout but out yeah, yeah, Will Pulisic, bro. Yeah. He's also he's also on trial because Austin That's FC right. posted yeah. a uh, right. picture yeah, of right, him. Right. Right. They, they posted hey, a picture. So, you know. Austin FC does play the game today against the uh, RGV Toros, Rio Grande Valley yeah, Toros, yeah. Puro 956. Um, could we see Brady Scott in the first half and I Will Pulisic should, in the second? No, could, could we see that? Maybe. We maybe. should. I say let him start, bro. That game is so minuscule, though. That's like another little tune-up. Yeah, like, you it know, really is. It's just like a little let's, let's not lose rhythm. Let's keep yeah. it going. Let's keep our legs fresh. Yeah. LAFC is next, bro. LAFC. You want to get into Focus a, on LAFC. A game against and also, LAFC? And, and, and also, a good thing that you brought that up. Do you, if, if you're a wolf, do you want to risk one of your starters in this RGB exactly, game? Exactly, exactly. You don't want yeah, You don't want. Right. You don't want. You don't want something like Rodney to happen again, bro. And you know what? Let's let's kind of get into that topic yeah. a little bit oh, around yeah. Rod, Rodney Redis. Picked up a knock on his knee. Wolf right? Wolf says it's not big. It's not big. It's not major. But he did confirm that Segura and Aaron Schoenfeld are kind of long term injuries. Yeah. So we're already looking at injuries, yeah. and we haven't been into week one. I know that our training grounds are. Top tier, so it's yeah. definitely you know it's it's just something that you just yeah. don't really plan for, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But Rodney, mm -hmm. we were talking about this, bro. That's that's gonna hurt us in the season. He was tied for a top scorer. <laughs> Danny Houston took over. Now he has four. Yeah. Rodney Redis was our man on fire, on yeah. fire, bro. El Paraguayo estaba en momento mojando brocha. Yeah. Yeah. Andaba Esta trabajando. Andaba bro. trabajando. Andaba el trabajando. Paraguayo. Bro. Andaba trabajando. Andaba trabajando, bro. Es, eh, él andaba agradecido del cheque, güey. Oh, ¿me vas a pagar este dinero? Uh, Vámonos. A hey, correr, a bro, correr, bro, a correr. A la bro, vida. bro, them boys, hey, wey, hey, wey. Them, boy, them boys got off the plane and went straight yeah. to Neiman Marcus, yeah. bro. Yeah. They went straight to Neiman Marcus, bro. They did, they did, they did. They did they Cecilio did. had a Louis luggage, bro. Yeah. He, had that, he had that JBL speaker. Mm -hmm. he, had had a, he had a MCM backpack. Yeah. Boy. They had to go get fresh. Yeah. You Real know, quick. bro, you they know they went. to go get fresh. You know. The Cecilio, güey, no man. Manches. You know, like, bro. You know they easy. went to Neiman Marcus, bro. Yeah. You know that's where they went. Pulling up in a Tesla, too. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling up in the Tesla. But, dude, Rodney out. Yeah. What's I, up with that, bro? What do you think, Bali? He will be missed against LAFC, bro. He, he, will be boy, he's, he might play, though. He he'll might play. play. Oh, he'll play. He'll small play. doubt. Small he'll doubt. Hope, if he doesn't, he will be missed, bro. He will be missed, bro. On that right side, bro. I think if he, if he does play, he was going to cook him up, bro. He was honestly he was who I was hyped up, hyped for. Yeah. I felt like he was gonna go off his first game because he's he's been going off for us. Yeah, man. bro, he's been he's, playing so good. And he's, he's not been big, putting but on. He's built, so you yeah. know, big defenders is hard to deal with smaller guys. Exactly, and, and he he's could, strong. He could definitely drop that yeah. shoulder and make that turn real quick. He, boom, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, No, and his work rate on that right side, bro, is yeah. key, bro. With Nick Lima, with bro, Nick. they were connecting, bro, yeah. Yeah. Then, because bro, right because side, bro. because both of them aren't like scared to put in the shoulder and be like, que wait, que wait, vente, because Nick, Nick was even getting in some scraps, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick, I love that. Nick I was getting in some scraps. Who played Redis position against Dallas? Stroud, right? Stroud. 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 And he got Stroud. a goal. And he got a goal, yeah. so, you know, maybe he's going to have to step up. Wait, right? was For it sure. Stroud or was it Kekuta? No, I Kekuta was, was on the left. Stroud started. Yeah, Kekuta was on the left. Hosen was striker, at, uh, number nine, and then he was uh, okay. right wing. On okay. the positive, like, I'm I'm excited for Stroud, dude, because uh, he came from New York, and there was some, some good hype about it. He's very young, and, like, yeah. You know he could he could cement you know like as a as a sub for redes you know like yeah so it might be an opportunity for him to like to snap we and, have like, an option there you know we're what not mean? like oh shit, you know yeah. there's an yeah. option there you know what i mean sure. i like stroud stroud yeah yeah, yeah. so he's not bad um he's a good guy do you wanna it's a good guy who, who, okay give me this he's a very good guy <laughs> <laughs> let's decide together on this who's the front three starting for lafc the strikers? The front three, yeah. If, if Rodney can make it? Easy, if, bro. Let's say Rodney, oh, let's say Rodney can make it. Yeah, yeah. Rodney, Rodney can, can make, make it. Rodney can make it. Rodney can make it. Rodney can make it. Right. Who, who wants the to go front three? No. I say Cecilio, obviously, on the left. Mm -hmm. right? We're all on in the left. agreement. Yeah. Right? Cecilio yeah. on the left. Yep. Who's in is going to play striker, in my yeah. opinion, over Gallagher. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. And then as a right, I think it's going to be... Uh, if if Rodney can make if it. If Rodney can make it, Rodney Redes, yeah, obviously. Same one. Yeah. Same one. Arriba yeah. Paraguay. Yeah. Vamos to. That, Vamos to. That's Vamos my to. exact. Dos Paraguayos, bro. El Cecilio yeah. y el Redes, bro. Yeah. If yeah. he can't make it, though. If he can make it, yeah. Kekuta or Stroud? 
Stroud Kekuta, because he Kekuta, already played. Kekuta, he was Kekuta. playing right wing. I think Kekuta. Kekuta. I think Kekuta. Kekuta. I enjoy Kekuta. 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 He can okay, hold. Right. He, can, he can hold the ball, bro. I always saw him with the ball. He wasn't like. He can like hold his. And he's his, fast. His, his, his holder yeah, yeah, hold play is pretty fast. good. And he's, he's fast. He's one of the fastest players on uh, FIFA. He right works so hard Cecilio, too. who's in a Redes? We we. If if Redes can make it. But if Redes can't make it. We're going with Cecilio Hussein Kekuta. Yeah. yeah. I'm down. Yeah, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Bro, look, listen, listen to me. Bro, I say Stroud. Listen to me. I'm I'm calling it right now. And y'all can y'all can hear me out. I'm calling it right now. But this season in the MLS, Cecilio Dominguez is gonna earn the most penalties in the league. Damn. I'm calling it right fucking now. Damn. I'm calling it right now. Cecilio, that's his specialty, bro. Yeah. That's it, bro. He he did it to a master class uh last game. Yeah. Right against yeah. uh, FC Dallas. And he was doing it in what I need, too. And he was doing it in what I need. He made so many penalty chances like that, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. He's going to earn the most PKs in the MLS. This I season, just want to, when the season's going on, when when the pundits and us, we're talking about who's been the MEP so far, I want at least one of uh, Cecilia to be in that conversation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, him being the top three strikers, uh, I mean, goal scorers, at least for the beginning, you know, keep it going. Who's going to win the golden boot? Yeah. So I want. He's one, our guy. He's yeah. our guy. He's our he's guy. guy to he's be our guy. guy. Yeah, he's back, dude. He has our guy. Ten. Him and Toto, bro. They're, those are you know. Pochettino, Pochettino with two goals, bro. I'm telling you, also, bro. They nobody better foul us at the top of their box. And I hope, Pochettino. I hope, Pochettino. I hope that these coaches are warning their players to not foul Austin FC at, at the tip top of the box because yeah. we're gonna make yeah. you pay. I want it to be that if, if there's a free kick goal, like we already know, yeah. Hey, yes. yeah, it's over. Messy yeah, shit, exactly. Yeah. Messy shit, messy yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exam, yeah. exam, yeah. exam, exam uh, yesterday, <laughs> exam yesterday. <laughs> but it's all good, it's no, all good. But, okay, so we decided on our front three, now let's go to the mid three. Who who who, who would you want to start? I think that's, that's the, the easiest. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, ring, easiest. ring, ring is our Cecilia front three, right? Automatically. Toto, Ring. obviously, so yeah. there is one. Yeah. Fagundes. Da no. Fagundes Who? or no. Danny Pereira? No, no, Danny. Danny? I'm going to let my boy answer. ¿Quién, güey? ¿Quién juega en la media? ¿Quién juega en la media? Wait, you, wait, you said, I'm going to let my boy answer. I'm going to let my boy answer. I'm going to let my boy answer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to answer. Right, right. oh, you said... Ring? Ring. Toto Pochettino. Facts. And, we, and who, who was the third one you said? And, um... Fagundes. Uh, Fagundes. He said, Fagundes. He said, he said but hold on, hold on. <laughs> Melo, who's, who, who's your three? Ring, Toto, and you know, bro. You're going to let him answer too? I'll who? let him answer. Who? Oh, <laughs> shit. I'll let him answer for me. Who? Danny Pereira. Danny, 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 Ring, Danny, Ring, Poch, bro. bro. That's your Danny. That's your three right yeah. there. Danny. Danny, shout out to Danny Pereira, bro. He set up Cecilio for his second goal yesterday. He left Cecilio with so much time, bro. Austin FC posted the highlight for that one, dude. He literally took like two, three players. He had like two, three players on him. And Danny just slided it to him yeah. by himself, bro. Cecilio was by him. He literally could have walked inside the goal. Danny, Danny gave him that much time and space. But Fagundes didn't do bad, though, either, right? He didn't yeah. do bad. He didn't that. do bad. And you know, what Trump said? you know what Trump says is experience, bro? He, yeah. he he's experienced in the league right now. I Danny, like that. I like that. I like that. I like Although that. he works hard, you can yeah. see him out there. He's young, bro. He came from college, bro. You know nah, what nah, I mean? Nah, nah, nah. But you gotta start him, bro. You gotta he's start him. He's hungry, bro. You gotta start him, bro. Okay. You gotta start him, bro. Okay. I say Fagundes. You gotta start him, bro. But you know what? Him, bro. This is a beautiful problem. Mm -hmm. This yeah, is a this yeah. is a beautiful problem because we have a hungry young talent de Venezuela. Saludos a todo Venezuela. Shout out to all his family showing us so much love on every social media platform. Shout out to them. We have a young, hungry player, and we have a vet that knows the league and yeah, knows all yeah, these yeah. chumps and all these other teams and can tell us how to easily attack these I hope, I hope that relationship yeah. is good, bro, because Danny can learn so much from him. Yes, bro. And you know what? Danny even said that he's that he's here to learn from these yeah, players. Exactly. He said that he wants yeah. to learn a lot from uh, Toto. So, and ring. potential and is ring. insane. Ring. And he was first pick, man. Yes, bro. That's yeah. a lot of pressure. You know Yo. what I mean? Can, can this be ultimately, at the end of the season... A stroke of genius from Reina and Wolf, yeah, bro. Yeah, it can be. It can be. Because, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It can be, bro. It can because, be. Because because in the manner that be. he got chosen, nobody, yeah. bro. That was such a, like, crazy, yeah. bro. Who was supposed to go it number one? It can be, bro. Who bro, was that's Philip Mayaka. Mayaka. And, he's, Mayaka. and his he's club loaned him out. He, they loaned him out to... His club loaned him out. Disrespectful. What the... To a USL team. That's fucked up, man. He's not even going to play in the MLS, bro. That's fucked up, man. 
Yo, from from one. So hey, there's something second. behind what Austin Big, bro. Hey, that that could that Stroke could be our Stroke a genius, benefit. man. Yeah. Stroke a yeah. genius, hey, all man. All I know is that so fire, yeah. right? All fire. I know, no, all I know is that whoever whoever um, saw Danny and picked him out, yeah, give him a raise, give him a bonus. <laughs> give him a bonus. Hey, 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 at the end of the year, give yeah. him a bonus. Yeah, <laughs> give him a bonus. <laughs> give him a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like that. 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 Well, get us more. Get us more. Get us more. Hey, but I'm gonna I'm gonna back up Melo's question about the stroke of genius. I'm gonna ask you a backup question. Is the midfield our strongest point in this team? I think so, bro. I think so too. I think so. Yeah, right? I think so. Right? Yeah, I think so. Sure. The midfield yeah, is sure. wrong. But hey, our front three, our front three is also pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's also pretty good. So the weakest link is in so the back. So now that's where I want to transition. Yeah. So we picked our front three, uh, our midfield three. Now let's get to the defense. <laughs> I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go first because I've been taking fire for this. Yeah. Shout out to everybody on Twitter that's been keeping up with this. Yeah. We, you know, we've been having a lot of conversations about this. Shout out to you know you. Chris W, Taylor Rudolph, all these guys, you know, everybody, uh, Twinux TV, everybody, everybody yeah. on Twitter, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Um, Kako. You had to get Kako, security. Shout out my boy. I had to get, get security. security. He Dude, had to get I, security, bro. I literally went into HEB the other day. I needed to get some food, groceries. I was there getting my fruit. Some people came up to be like, hey, you're the one that said yeah. Josh Wolf was going to be out. And I was like, yo, man, yo, buddy, buddy, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to get some bananas, bro. I'm just trying to get some, I'm just trying to get some damn fruit, bro. And there was like six of them. It was like, it was like six of them. Oh, shit. It was like six of them. So, uh, you know, I had to, I had to go out, hire some private uh, security. security. So that's how I'm rolling. But, <laughs> but uh, all right, this is my back four. Yeah. On the left side. Wait, what? Are we gonna do what? 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 Wolf wants no, 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 or no, what no, we what, want? What you want? What you want? What do you want? What, you want? what, you what want? I want? What I want? Your okay. strongest eleven. My yeah. my strongest eleven, on the left side. Fuck it, I'm gonna say, go all out and put Freddie Kleeman. As put, a left back. Put Freddie Kleeman, if not Aiden Steenley, on the left side. Yeah. In the middle, Matt Beasley, because that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna wrap my my head around, and Matt I'm Beasley. hoping, and I'm hoping that oh, to, no, whenever no. whenever game one comes on and those lights hit his face, he t- turns he's on, because that cause that might happen. That yeah, might happen. Because yeah, 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 so, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's also he's also he's also, uh, he's also a vet. He's old, bro. He's guarded Cristiano. You think he's gonna worry about one of these little little league players? You know what I'm saying? He's literally gone to the World Cup and yeah. made it out of the group that was Germany, USA, Portugal, and Ghana. He was part of that team that made it out that group. I remember that was huge. One of the hardest yeah. groups. That was that was that was the group of death. That was huge. And yeah. he he had to guard Greece in yeah. that in that fucking uh, Although, that fucking cup. When he, when he crossed so, that ball though, last minute, Ronaldo to to tie the game against USA. I don't, I don't remember. Maybe don't remember. we could pull it up later. We go yeah. watch it. But okay, so like I said, Aiden, Aiden Steenley, or if you want to fucking go crazy, Freddie Kleeman on, on on the left back. But I don't, I don't really want to see Ben Sweat. I'm sorry. Maybe some people are gonna say that they want to see him there, but I'm gonna go with Aiden Steenley, even though he's on uh, uh, trial. Mm-hmm. Aiden Steenley, Matt Beasler, Johan Romagna, Nick Kleeman. That's my four. Romagna, you got Romagna and and, and, and Beasler. I like the Aiden on the left side. Though. Nick Lima, really okay, like let's Aiden just let's just point side. out Nick Lima is is on the left. Like, like you know how it's a silo. No, Nick Lima's on the right. On the right. Nick I'm on the right. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm the right. Right. Yeah. Right. He's on the right for sure. So we just gotta worry about the center back pairings and the left back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you got Beasler and Romagna, Romagna and you got and Kleeman as a left back. Didn't he play? What did he? He, he played, played. He played center back. He played center back. He played center back. He played center back. But I'll help you out here. Zan Akomanich. But we haven't oh, seen him we play. Haven't, yeah, we, we haven't look, seen him play, bro, bro. Like, honestly, dude. He won't play, though. No bro. disrespect, bro. I just don't see Ben Sweat being a strong yeah. left back. Definitely, yeah. yeah. I feel like Stanley looked great. Yeah. Komanich might even be already, like, better, bro. You see, you see, but we, we don't see... I agree with you. We don't I haven't spoke, seen bro, him. But Wolf, bro, Wolf thinks that Ben's the guy. Wolf thinks that, okay, that's my guy. That's my I, have a feeling, I have a feeling he's going to go, me? he's going to go Ben Sweat, uh, Beasley... Uh, Kleeman and then Nick Lima. Ben Sweat. Who else? Beasley. Beasler. Beasler. I'm sorry. Beasler. Uh, Kleeman. Kleeman. And then Nick, Nick Lima. Lima. Yeah. That's that's my prediction, bro. That's what I would want to hey, see. Hey, hey, yeah. I think so might. Beasler and Kleeman. Bench Johan. Yeah, I think so. I, I want to see, see that. I can yeah, see that. I can see that, see that. Hey, because, because Johan has been shaky, just a little shaky. Just a little bro. bit. It's because he's too big. Está muy mamado el compa. Está muy mamado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we we pinpointed we pinpointed on Austin FC for his weakness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
We just l- narrowed it down to our weakest. Where do we need to work at? And, and guess where that is? Left back. We, oh, right? Bro, now that you mention it, Left bro, back is our weakest. Na- like, now that you mention it, remember uh, the last podcast we were saying that it was like a tow road, bro. Pe- yeah. People were going 80 miles an hour on that left side, bro. Yeah, yeah. Ben Sweat, bro. Ben Sweat was getting lit. Up, bro. Maybe Poor he got guy. that. Maybe Poor he got guy. That. Hey, Ben Sway, bro. Hey, sorry, bro. Hey, bro. Not sometimes bad. you get your ass whooped, and then the next game you got something to prove, bro. Yeah. Or you're like, man, I'm not let that define me. The I, thing, you know what I mean? It all takes on his character. See bro, what he thing wants is to do. though about Ben Sway is he he can he can cross the ball, bro. Ben Sway can cross the ball. That's probably the best attribute to his to his. To so his that's game. why I say he's yeah. starting, bro. That's my back Ben Sway. That's my back for you. Ben yeah, Sway. Him. Start, him. Beasler. Kleeman, Freddie Kleeman, Nick, Nick Lima. Lima. That's not a bad fault. Yeah, That's not, not a bad, bad back fault. And, and uh, bad uh, bad Alex fault. Ring, uh, Toto Pochettino, Fagundes, Cecilio Husen, and uh, Stroud. That's mine, bro. That's my 11 right there. Okay. I'm calling it. I'm calling it, bro. Fuck it. You think so, bro? Yeah, I think so. Damn. Oh, Melo, I, I need to know what you think about this. For I need me, to know. Bro, look, I- I'm also be controversial here, bro. Yeah. I think we got to put everything on the table. Yeah. Wolf and Reyna are betting on Colmenis, bro, because he's on loan for one year on trial, right? With an With option, option to, to buy. purchase. Option, option to purchase. To buy, which option means, to purchase in this bitch. Which means they're interested in obviously potentially acquiring this young talent player, right? Left back. And Slovenian. he's an international. He's international. He's an international. He already played the, in the Euros, which I heard they, they were got, shit. They were right? destroyed. He's bro. also part of a country were, that's not known for its soccer. Right. Like Slovenia. So. I would say I wouldn't be surprised if we see Kolmanich take over that left back position. One, because he's young. Two, he's fast. I'm I'm assuming he has, he should be. You know, so he should have pace, yeah. And, and you need somebody who's gonna put in the work for Cecilio, bro. That for yeah, me is key. Need that. Yeah. Now moving on yeah. to center back, I would say like like you said, H Beasler's gonna start because he is essentially a captain. You know, like with Ring. He'll start with Beasler. I want to see Romagna, bro. I want to see Romagna because of that Guarani connection. That shit was no coincidence, man. Yeah. They want that connection, bro. So I think Romagna just needs some time, bro. He just needs some time. He just came yeah, to the how U.S. Much, how much time, though? That's the question. <laughs> he just needs how some much time, time? bro. I, yeah. Mid-season? Mid-season. Mid-season. Mid-season? Mid-season. I don't know, bro. bro. Mid-season. And then on the right, of course. But Okay. We can all agree, Nick. Check this out. And I want everybody to listen up. The same love and the same affection, the same patience that you're going to give Matt Beasler, I need y'all to give it to Johan also. Yeah. Yeah. I need y'all to give it to him too because yeah. he's going to be good for us, but y'all can't throw him out there like yeah. that. A lot of people were throwing him under the bus saying that he had the lowest match rating, that he was the, the poorest of all this cup or whatever. Yeah. Okay, give him patience. He's probably one yeah. of the youngest guys on this team, bro. Exactly, exactly. He's, 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 he's 22. He don't even speak English. Brand new he's country. He's in a brand new country. Brand new country. Yeah. Brand new country. Yeah. The country, culture, bro. the culture changed like yeah. that a hundred percent what the you know what i mean he left all his family out yeah, there bro yeah, he's bro. not here with anybody his only family here is danny Pereira and danny Pereira's family bro. and you know yeah, what bro. adversity does to you when you're a new country or a young kid and you're getting paid to play soccer and you have your family to take care of home you're gonna put in work bro, yeah, bro. you're gonna put in work be patient keep working towards being bro. a better player and then think about this bro and this is something nobody really thinks about Imagine the things going through his head. I got to do good to send money to my family, take care of them. Because yeah, everybody true. that he left out there, mm-hmm. you know that they're depending on him, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's he true. has a whole family on his yeah. back, bro. Yeah. So yeah. does Redes, but Redes is, is, is you know, también Redes. Man. Yeah, también true. Redes. Yeah. Yeah. Redes also, bro. Yeah. They they have they're, they're these and young you players that are coming here, yeah. and they have to try their hardest to se- to, to take care of their family yeah. out mm-hmm. there. You know what I mean? Fact, Ceci bro. also, but Ceci has been to other yeah, other clubs. Ceci is a champion, and he's also... America. DP. Yeah, he's he's also DP. DP. But you know what? I think Redes got a bag though, bro. Because Redes got like a different signing. He was yeah. like a young money signing. Yeah. Money. So mm-hmm. I think I think Redes might have got a bag. But Redes, Johan, and Cecilio share the same agent, Eagle Eye Football. Mm-hmm. So I think they I think they probably got good deals, bro. Yeah, Ho- yeah. I'm I'm hoping Johan got also a, a bag. Because that guy's humble, bro. That guy's yeah, that guy's so humble, bro. Not not only is he a good player, he's a great individual and a great yeah, human bro. being, bro. Yeah. He's such a great guy. He's bro. such a great we're, guy. Obviously, is, we're bro. big fans of Romagna. Such a great yeah, such Romagna, a great guy. Bro. I love Romagna. I mean, but we got that signature signed, behind yeah, right He signed there. our flag. You can't like see it because of the jersey, yeah. but yeah. he signed our flag. Yeah, Romagna's that's yeah. what I'm saying, but he has been looking Give him patience. Give him time, bro. Give him time. Patience and time. Patience and time. That's all I ask for. I'm just glad that that's our lineup and he's also uh, uh, like you know, second there to you know replacements. Yeah, so but I don't, I don't. Right. Honestly, yeah. I don't think Wolf will start him, bro. 
I think, I think so, so, bro. I think he is. is. I think, I think is. so, bro. I think, I think so, bro. You think so? I think he, I think I think Wolf sees what we see in him. I think Wolf is like, come on, buddy, crack out your shell. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You think Wolf come on, nice buddy. Yeah. Come on, buddy. You think he's just a nice guy? He's a very nice guy. Yeah, Look at him. Bro. He looks like a nice guy. Yeah. He is a really he's nice like guy. Poster boy, he looks like a nice he guy that deserves a fucking Tesla. Not a Lexus. Bro, not I a got a picture get him, with Wolf, get him a bro. fucking Tesla. So he's a great guy. So now that we kind of established our like eleven, you know, our defense, our forwards, our mids. Now let's let's talk about the game against LAFC, bro. Do you yeah. do you think? I guess what I'm asking is, like, um, what do you well, what do you think of the game? Well, like, what do you? What do I think of the game coming up against like, LAFC? Yeah, you, I'm trying to say you whether we have a chance to win, bro. All right, well, check this out. I got a chance to get on live with uh, the guys at 110 Football. Yeah. They're the LAFC. Oh, yeah. Shout out, shout shout out, out to 110. them. 110 Football Club. Shout, shout out, out to them. Uh, we're going to link up with them when we go out there to Cali, to the Bank of California Stadium. But I was on the with them, and they asked me. They told me straight up, like, hey, what do you think about being matched up with us in game day one? And I told them straight up, I was like, there's two things about this game. Number one. It sucks that we got paired against LA against, I mean, on, like for the very first game, but it's also good because it's going to, it's going to be a, a major test for us. And it's going to show if we want to be a team that's going to compete or a team that's here just for fun, just yeah. to, you know, bring yeah. soccer to a fun city. That's an untapped market. Yeah. You know what I mean? Are you here to win? Or are you here to make money from that untapped market? Plus, I, you know what I'm I, saying? I think LA's defense has been leaking goals too, right? They conceded yeah. three. Against, they lost. I mean, they, lost, they, they tied 3-3. Three, three, three. Three. And, and they conceded before that. The other games, I, I'm not sure what the preseason, but I'm sure they've, they've been leaking goals. So with the defense, bro, I think it like resonates from the whole entire league. Like, is, is there an MLS right now that has a defense locked like fucking? I don't like, think so. I don't, think so. So. I don't no. think so. I don't think the, so. The, I've always heard the stigma about the MLS is like, oh, it's not good defensively. It's defending here is shit. Yeah, defending defending here is shit. shit. So, yeah. you know, we think our defense is really, really like, fuck, we're fucked. But like, you know, MLS defenses are also kind of. Can I know, say something? Yeah. And a lot of MLS fans might come after my head. <laughs> you want, it, bro. You got it, to bro. hire two security it, bro. guards, bro. <laughs> <laughs> how many, Melo? Can you search out how many goals Vela scored last season? Oh. I, I know that. I know that he was up there. But the people, record, people, he? people might not like this take. But check this out. I'm, I'm away from Melo to pull up that stat. Some, some people you might know, not like uh, it. Ma Martinez is. Record. He was, he was going at it with uh, Slatan, and I think he, he beat Slatan. And he was trying to compare him. Vela was trying to compare himself to Slatan, uh, and Slatan was all like, "Where was I in my prime?" <laughs> yeah. I was in Europe. <laughs> yeah, Where, yeah, he did say that. He, did say and that. he was like, "Where is he in his prime? He's in the MLS." Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's so, facts. That's Zlatan, facts. Zlatan's, Zlatan's hey, time in right, MLS was amazing. Yeah, How many Zlatan's goals? Something different. Zlatan came in, bro. I, I witnessed Zlatan's first ever game in the MLS, bro. I was watching it. That live, was a bro. badass I game. I watched it live. El Tráfico week. I oh, was like, a, what, bro? It was yeah, so bro. exciting. Dude. Oh, my God. Welcome to the MLS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, just yeah, got yeah, slotted. Yeah. <laughs> How many goals, bro? Okay, so Carlos Vela, here's the caveat, though. Carlos Vela didn't go to the MLS's back tournament. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. of his, his uh, baby. Yeah, right. Yeah. So baby. he scored four goals in oh. the regular season. Wait, but that, but that was that, that was really short though. Okay. No, no, no. But what, how many goals did he score when he broke the record? When he was going with Slatan, uh, toe to toe. Record. That was what, like two, oh, two, two seasons, seasons ago? ago. Okay, how yeah. many goals two okay. seasons ago? My uh, bad. I'll pull it up. Pull it up. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. He, all good. All good. Martinez, all good. I, I want to say like thirty or forty. I want to say forty-two. Because I, I think Martinez had higher high thirties. Yeah. Or like high thirty-seven. High thirties. But look, bro. That many goals, bro. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this take I'm about to have. Listen to this take. Okay, okay, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Just go for that. Too, all right. Bro. Carlos Vela. We all know him. He's been Arsenal. He's yeah. Mexican. So, you know, we've all seen him play. Let me know whenever you got him. We man. have mixed feelings about him. You got it? How yeah. many? Carlos Vela had his most prolific season in MLS in 2019. Yeah. Scoring a single season record of 34 goals. 34. And adding 15 assists. 34 Damn. goals. Okay, listen he went, to this. He went listen off, to this. bro. Any league. That allows Carlos Vela to score 34 goals. The defense is shit. Yeah. <laughs> the defense is nah, shit, mate. Nah, bro. Any league where nah, Carlos nah, Vela, nah, nah, any nah, league nah, where nah, Carlos Vela, bueno, three roots are coming out, bro. Because nah. we, 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 vamos a selección mexicana, we. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Carlos Vela is a great player. Yeah, and he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's nunca quiso, fantastic. Nunca quiso jugar no, he, he never wanted to break out. That's yeah. what a, a lot of people say. That that guy could have been fantastic more than he is, he but he never it, really bro. broke he out. That's what I'm saying. If any, if Carlos Vela in 2019, can go to your league and score 34 goals, 
that league's just not good defensively. Mm-hmm. Offensively, maybe that's a whole other topic. But if Vela, how old is he also, Melo? He, he's not he's that 29, young. He's 29, 28. 30, 30, 30, Carlos Vela 30, is 32 30. years old. 32. Oh, so he was 30. He just turned 32. Yeah, he he just, so he was 30, 30 assuming. He came over 30, yeah, 30, 31. He came over yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he, can, if he can come to your league and score 34 goals and break the record, the league defensively is not that good. And I, some nah, people, nah, some nah, people nah, are gonna nah, say yes. So, some nah. people are gonna say no. It's, it's a valid point. I think, I think, valid, valid, valid point. Valid point. Valid I mean, who? I, I don't think so. So right now, he's probably the so. best player in the MLS. Right now, can you say that or no? Right I, now, okay. I think yeah. so. No, yeah. Yeah. Let me rephrase that. I guess because yeah. it was two years ago, right? So yeah. like, it's been a little bit of time. They've been choking in the playoffs or whatever. But was Carlos Vela in that season literally the best player in the whole league? I think so. Yeah. Carlos Vela, bro. Slatan yeah. was up there with him, too. Yeah, Slatan yeah. was up there with him. But Vela, I feel like Vela had more creation than Slatan. Slatan was a powerful finisher. If you gave yeah, him any space, else. he was going to punish you. He used MLS yeah. as like a, like a mini preseason, bro. He, he used it as a little a like recovery. Oh, oh, physical wee. therapy. Physical yeah. therapy. He was just therapying his He knee. came over here and yeah. used the best doctors yeah. in LA. Yeah. <laughs> and he got therapy and, he's, and then he went to AC Milan and he's fucking scoring yeah, for them too. Yeah. So bro, he's like, crazy. For, like, crazy. for crazy. like a moment, people were thinking they were going to win the, the league because they went undefeated for a long time. Bro, he run. brought shine yeah. to the MLS, bro. Yeah. Shout he out to Slatan. Shout, shout out to Slatan. Shout out to Slatan. You know, he disrespected the Slata. shit out of the league. He did. <laughs> no, yeah, but on the real, like, he actually proved, he flipped the script because. People would say, oh, he just came here to retire. But he actually showed that he came here and then he actually went back to Milan. Yeah. And now he, Milan totally changed with Slatan, bro, which showed that the league is competitive. Yeah. Like it gave yeah. him, it gave him enough to like do good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's, it's not that we're shitting on the league. We're just talking about the reality of the present. Yes, like, you know what I mean? What There's that? a lot of potential for this league. This league is going to grow and it gets better sure. every year, bro. It gets better well, every year. Didn't yeah. Beckham say that the... The MLS can overtake the Premier League in 25 years or some shit like that. I don't know about that. No. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's why that's why that. Beckham was so believed that the MLS is going to be so I, badass I that, that he fucking literally made a club here. I don't know if it can yeah. overtake it, but yeah, it can it can maybe go toe to toe like PR wise and like yeah. view wise. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's for, what I, yeah, yeah, for that's the what I mean. that's what I meant. Right. Not, okay. not not competition. Okay. No, no, no. Like yeah. the amount of revenue that the Premier League brings in every yeah. year is oh, okay. absolutely oh, fuck sure. yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, Can the MLS yes. be that revenue creating league where like they'll be able to afford high names? I think and, so. You know what I mean? Even though we're kind of like rambling off the topic, let's yeah, you yeah, know yeah. we're we're like still going. But check this out: the World Cup coming here in 2026. If the USA and I think me and Melo had a, oh. a conversation about this. If the if the USA can have a good showing, the soccer here is gonna blow yeah. up in 2026. Yeah. Right. Because sure. you know dude, they're been, gonna they're gonna blow bro, up. You know who's been having the US soccer on their back? The women's national team. Yeah, for sure. Right? They've been, bro, they, <laughs> they've been going they, out they, for years. No cap, they're the best team in the history of women's sports, bro. Mm-hmm. The USA here, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So they've been bringing shine to the light every time there's a World Cup. But the men need to do it because, yeah. you know, how I it think, is. I think this is their time, wow. honestly. They, they have a that's lot a, of that's, that's a good yeah. point, bro. They have a lot the of men's, If the men's were to do it, you know. Melo, didn't they just play? They played last night, no, against Sweden. Can you can you double check that? that, that I, I think Megan one scored one. A, a a penalty. Wait, USA? Megan they scored. tied one one. They were oh, losing. No, one, yeah. one, 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 they were losing the whole game. Yeah, I they think. broke their winning streak. Megan, yeah, Re- Megan Rapino scored Rapino. A, a penalty yeah. kick. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I, I, I saw. I saw. Highlights. I saw yeah. the highlights. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to them though. They actually yeah, they actually one, do. One, oh, yes, bro. One, actually do the. The men need to step it up. Yeah, about time someone gives them competition. Hey, we we went way we went on like a ramp, bro. That was that was awesome though. But let's let's get back to the L.A. Score prediction. Prediction. Oh, yeah, score score prediction. prediction. You know, we're here at Top Flight Podcast. This is what we do. We're just, <laughs> yeah. you know, we're here to give y'all football content. Yeah. So that's exactly what we do. But LAFC score predictions. I'm going to go with a 2-2. Two 2-2 to two. Two to two. Two to two draw. 2-2 two to two draw. 2-2 two to two draw. That's me. Uh, I think 2-0 uh, defeat. 2-0 mm, defeat. That's actually crazy because you didn't say that. I said two of the feet at the interview. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm talking about the Murga party interview. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about the Murga party interview. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. He was lit. He was lit. He was oh, lit. yeah, he was lit. He was, was, lit. He was, lit. He was lit. He was lit. I was in the out moment. There. I was yeah. in the moment. I was lit. And then I seen the defense, and I was like, oh, hold on. Let me turn around real quick. Skirt, 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 skirt. I got to stop, and I got to think about what I'm – I know, I think – So you, what did you say? What's your prediction? Look – La Cop- we had no clean sheets in La Copita. What makes you think we, that we're about no, to yeah, step we up? We had to step up to LAFC and and keep a clean sheet against the. Le- of course not, bro. I think. Uh, yeah, I think we'll. I think it. I think we'll lose 2-0, I, bro. 2-0. I'll I be say, real. I say 2-0. three two, bro. We lose. 
Three, that's, two. That's a lot of goals, bro. That's eggs. I'm, that's I'll a lot of goals. Score, think, yeah. yeah let, let us get a free kick, hey. bro. Let us get a free hey. kick. Roller coaster. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, what? yeah. Like this I team, said, this team's gonna be a roller yeah, coaster. Yeah, it's gonna be a roller coaster, mm-hmm. bro. Let's yeah, but I versus LAFC this first game, I give it three two, bro. I think this is a lot of goals. That's a lot of yeah. goals. I sounds, think. They, hey, I Melo, think so. sound like a heart can you attack, see, bro. can you see if you could pull up oh, week two, one bro? week one of the MLS season last last season? See what see they, what that looks like. They destroyed Nashville, right? They like wrecked them. You know because the, yeah. no pun intended. Thing about this though, bro. And I have said this countless times. If I'm going to play LAFC, I want to play them first so they can be sluggish too. They're not going to be that team that just came out of yeah. playing versus Tigres in the CONCACAF Champions League final. They're not going to be that same team. It, it's going to take rhythm for them. It's like Goku, whenever he powers up, you know what I'm saying? He does ah! You know what I mean? So <laughs> He's going super saiyan. We're going to catch them whenever, you know, whenever they're not powered up yet, whenever yeah. they have black hair still. You know what I mean? They're not going to be at, like, Super Saiyan level yet. So if we can have the best game that we can fucking have, yeah. we might beat these guys, bro. 3-2. Yeah, I say But we got to go off. I, I hope that we do. But I that's hope. something we haven't done. Yeah. Unless we're, we're playing these fucking little-ass USL teams, then we can go off. Then we can yeah. celebrate and high-five each other and Plus, win 5-1. Yeah. That, yeah, we can do it there. But I want to see you guys do it on the big stage. Plus, I mean, these this is the first ever MLS game, bro. Yeah, first so, ever. There's a lot more like to it than just the beginning of the season for LFC. For them, it's like, all right, the season's starting. You know, they already they they. For them, it's like, dude, when I was on live with these guys from One Ten Football Club, dude, I was all hyped. I was like, yo, I'm happy to be. And, and for them, it was like this scum team, yeah. <laughs> scum ass team. This uh, Austin FC, yeah. Austin. It was like, yeah, they just squished the bug. You know what I'm saying? But they were actually we, cool. Yeah. They, they were, were cool. cool. No, they, they were, were, they, they, were, were they were cool to me, but like about Austin, they probably not worried at all, bro. Yeah. They're not worried at I all. I don't think they are, but, but like, hey, let's shock the world. Let's shock the world. Let's shock shout the out, world. Shout out to Kako. He's been saying that, that yeah. we're gonna that we're gonna shock people. But I think I agree with B. I think if we do win the game, it's gonna be a lot of goals. It could it could be like yeah. a three two, bro. Yeah. I what think you, so. Now nah, you said two all lost. What do you want to know specifically about the 2020 season? The f- the the, the scorelines of, of uh, week one. All right, so I got Atlanta United. They beat 2-1 Nashville. Keep going. Chicago Fire lost against Seattle. Two How one. much? 2-1? 2-1. Okay. Cincinnati lost against uh, New York City. Um, we how got much was that? Tell me also how much. 3-2. Okay. 3-2. Colorado Rapids beat D.C. 2-1. Okay. Columbus Crew... Uh, one against NYCFC. Actually, Cincinnati lost against Red Bulls two, uh, three two. Okay. Uh, Dallas beat Philly two zero. Okay. Okay. Um, Houston Dynamo tied against LA one one. Okay. Galaxy or LFC? LAFC. Hey, so I mean, uh, no, Galaxy, Galaxy. Galaxy. Keep going, keep going, keep going. LAFC beat Miami one nil. Okay. Uh, hey, okay. Um, hey, so why are they over here talking? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah. I got a point after this. Minnesota beat three uh, one Portland. Uh, Montreal Impact beat New England Revolution two one, and Orlando City tied against uh, Salt Lake zero zero, and San Jose Earthquakes tied against Toronto two two, and Sporting KC beat Vancouver Whitecaps three one. All right, check this out. Very few clean sheets. Very yeah, few clean very sheets. Few a lot of those yeah, games of goals. had goals. Mm-hmm. A lot of those games had a 2-1, 3-2 scoreline. Mm-hmm. There were very few clean sheets. So what does that tell me? Teams coming in sluggish. Goals are gonna happen. That's so right. so we gotta we gotta that's we gotta three two. We gotta create goals. That's a good yeah. that's a good that's, prediction. That's a good, that's I said two two. Too, but I, I think almost. Nah. <laughs> you said two. I, I think, he said two nah, but I think we'll lose two. Another yeah. stat that I brought up when I went live with those guys at one ten football. I said that, and this is a fact. You can check this out. You don't have to medal because I already checked out. But y'all can fact check us. LAFC hasn't lost to a expansion team. Right. Yeah. LAFC has never lost to an expansion. So let's let's be that team because we're they're trying to brand us as a legends team. Let's be that legend and let's be that team to beat LAFC. That expansion team to come in and punk all these fools. That's a shitty stat yeah. to have because every time you play them, they're like, oh look, these guys are the they've never lost. So let's fucking give them a loss. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. So I'm not too confident, bro. I think what we'll think take a beating. Them? I think we'll honestly take a what beating against LA. I think like four one four loss. Nice. Yeah. Bro, guess who's going to be playing Ouch. on Ben Sweat's uh, position, uh, <laughs> side of the field? Rossi. Carlos Vela. Bro. No, mames! Oh, no, mames! Oh, my fault. I can't say that no more. 
But imagine Bella in space against Wait, Swag, bro. wait. That's what I'm saying, dog. I'm a realist. That's what I'm saying. You just shot us down. You shot us down. You just, you just, you just, you just did like a whole. Yeah. Oh man. Hey, hey, and you know, hey, and you Bello, know he will start. He, Bello, you know like he's gonna he said, start. He's a realistic, bro. Right? I'm realistic, yeah. bro. Yeah, he's realistic, now, bro. Now yeah. Lima's gonna deal with Rossi. Oh, bro, that's what gonna if, be a good one. What if, what if we switch? Because nah. Lima can play left back too. He can play left back too. But I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna. That's like new right back. That's like if he's doing. Absolutely, yeah. bro. bro it, like, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's like was, last case. Yeah, yeah press like the, the button. Yeah, yeah. Press the button. During the night time, if, if yeah. Bella comes in, if Bella comes in and scores like two goals in like ten minutes, then ya sabes que halftime. Lima, vete pa allá. Yeah, But who plays right back? It's el pedo. Shit. Stanley. And then Shit. What if, what if put, Stanley? Put, put, and, hey, and imagine spot, this. Bro. Imagine Stanley goes in after Sweat and he does just as bad. So now like fucking Lima. Put bro, that is right back, bro. Red is right back. Oh, fuck oh it, fuck God. it, Kekuta, right wing, Red is right back, bro. Fuck, man, it's, it's, it's going to so, be good. So, 4-1 Melo, 3-2 me, 2-0 Bali, and what do you say? 2-2. 2-2. 2-2. Two, two. Two, two. Two, two. And let's, let's leave it right there yeah. for the LAFC preview. So, that's been our, you know, our feelings, our thoughts. We kind of devered from the story a little bit, but um, but yeah, that's our, pretty much our hey, thoughts. Say, for hey, the, say the everyone, game. say a prayer. And we're, me and Nate are going to be in LA, so yeah. don't be in expect LA. more content coming your way, you know, so... Me and Melo be here. We're gonna have, watch along. We're going to have behind-the-scenes footage, build up to the game, fan reactions, you know, before and after the game. We're going to link up with those guys at 110 Football. Yeah, shout out 110 It's going to be fun, so make sure to keep, keep track of our YouTube channel, Instagram, Twitter. We're going to be posting some really yeah. good stuff. More videos on the way. More videos yeah, on the way. A lot more but, content. All right. We're going to go to a quick break, and we'll be right back. Going to get you that Champions League action, top four race, and a bit of sprinkle of... El Clasico. El Clasico. <laughs> All right. What's up, y'all? Thank you for checking out the Top Flight Podcast. Make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the page if you enjoy the content. Once again, check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you for checking us out here at the Top Flight Podcast. Enjoy. All right, guys. Welcome back to the show. Um, so I hope you like the Austin FC Talk. Um, we, I think we, we touched every corner of it, and uh, mm-hmm. those are our thoughts. But another thing about the show is that we're also going to be speaking a little bit about uh, the European football, Champions League, a little bit of Premier League, some La Liga action, the Clásico happened this weekend. So we're, all, you know, we're obviously going to speak a lot about our club, Austin FC, but we also want to introduce a little bit of uh, different, like the name says, top flight. We're going to be talking about the top flight leagues in the world, pretty much. So. Hey, if you ever see us, you know, at some... A van or whatever, ask us for stickers. We got them on deck. Got the Top Flight podcast yeah. stickers and the We Austin TV stickers, of course. Top Flight, the Top oh, Flight of, all, of, the, of the world. So, um, so yeah, <laughs> let's get into. I mean, the, these these games happen Tuesday, Hello. Wednesday. Um, we hadn't we hadn't played Dallas yet. So, what what was your what was your, okay? So these are the results. Porto lost to Chelsea two zero. Bayern Munich lost to PSG three two. Real Madrid uh, beat Liverpool three one. Mm-hmm. Manchester City beat Borussia Dortmund two one. So, what was y'all's outstanding tie of, uh, of, the, of the quarterfinals? Let's get, in, let's get into Chelsea first. I want to oh, okay. like, talk okay, about okay. Chelsea since you Chelsea mentioned Porto, yeah. Chelsea, Porto, Chelsea Porto was good because Chelsea got the favor, favorable draw, for sure. For Everybody sure, wanted to, sure, yeah. to play Porto. But don't take nothing away from Chelsea. This, this Chelsea team is, is young. They want to win. They came to Chelsea to win. Um, they they didn't just come to this team to not be winners. They clearly want to win. So uh, these, these guys are going to definitely do something in Europe. I've been saying this for a long time. I've been telling you, B, that Mason Mount is not somebody to sleep on. Mason Mount, yeah. I'm, I've yeah. been a big fan of him since he was, you know, making his, like, debuts. You know, maybe not debuts, but since he was first coming out. You know, I said I said this guy, this this cat yeah, was going to be good. Plus, if you, if you see him play... A lot of people were saying, oh, you know, he's being favorited by Frank Lampard because he's English and he brought him up from Derby and this and that, and they had a relationship. And he's Frank Lampard is gone, bro. It's that Thomas Tuchel, German, completely And he's different. actually doing better. And yeah. he's, he's, he's doing better. Bro, that's the thing, you know. For club and country. For he's, club and country. He's so a good player, though. Mason Miles like, is a like player. player. And he's hey, a top bins. Player. Top bins. <laughs> he's an academy product, bro, from Cottenham. Yeah. yeah, so Cottenham, like, Cottenham. But yeah, like like I was saying, this team do not sleep on them. Like you said, we were talking earlier. Yeah, we, you said that the bookies in Vegas had Chelsea as yeah. number two to At win the, point, uh, the Champions, Champions League They were second final. favorites. Yeah, they're second Plus, favorite. That's two big. two away goals. I mean, this game is this game Chelsea, is wrapped yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, this game is wrapped right. up. I mean, Porto, I think I they had two uh, starters out, so they're gonna come back for the second second game, and they're gonna probably you know, of course, it's Champions League. They're gonna go hard, but if Chelsea can score one goal, bro, they're gonna have to score four. 
Damn. So yeah. it's pretty much wrapped this up. This game is wrapped yeah, up. Yeah, I think yeah. it's done. This yeah. game so is wrapped up. Let's say Chelsea are favorites to be in the semifinal. Chelsea yeah. are favorites. Chelsea sure. are the and most favorites right now. On the other side of the bracket, Real Madrid comfortably Liverpool. beating Liverpool 3 1, you would say? Comfortably. Yeah. Comfortably. What do you think of the Madrid game? Man, I got a little. In a, in a, okay, let, you know, just brief. Yeah, brief. A little I got brief. a I got a small movie to put in your mind. <laughs> Let's hear it. So I, I I get on Twitter. I'm like, yo, anybody want to link up to watch this game? I got a couple people that are like, yeah, come through. We went to BD Riley's right down the street from my job. Got off work. Boom, BD Riley's hit it up. Uh, when I got there, it was already uh, it was already two zero. It was already two zero because I got there in the second half, and uh, I linked up with uh, Jeremiah Bentley. Shout out to my boy. And we were there. It was it's a red bar, Liverpool bar. Everybody there was wearing a Liverpool jersey. I looked to my left, Liverpool. I looked to my right, Liverpool. I looked up, Liverpool. <laughs> Literally, like it was it was so many Liverpool fans. And I was in there. Luckily, I didn't have a jersey on me because I had just got off of work, right? So I was in my work clothes, you know. But Real Madrid, I have it right here in the heart. You know what I mean? So anywhere I go, anywhere I go, it's in my heart. And uh, I'm in there, right? Liverpool scores. So it's 2-1. Game on, right? Yeah, game on. Not! <laughs> Psych! 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 Everybody's like, game's on, right? Yeah. Everybody's like, game's on, let's go! Let's go, boys! Game's on! Mo Salah! Mo Salah! Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of that. And when they scored, what did, did you celebrate? Were you I like, just I just clapped because, I mean, I was I was in Rome. Uh, so, you know you, what I mean? So were, I had to do as Romans hey, do. You were in enemy, enemy territory. I was in fucking enemy. Anfield, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Anfield, mate. So all I did was I just clapped when they scored. Okay. And then a couple minutes later, Vinicio lo vacuno. Vinicio lo vacuno. He just, you know, <laughs> one touch, boom. Allison could handle it. Went into the net. And, bro. I lost my head and I got up on my chair and I was like, vamos, vamos. <laughs> and, bro, and like everybody turned around to look at me and then one dude, he was like, fuck off. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. And I just like sat back down and I just, I just crossed my arms and I was sitting down. And I was like, fuck, I hope no one said shit, bro. Because I was like, I was, I was, bro, there's Liverpool everywhere. But nobody yeah. said nothing. It got real quiet, super yeah. quiet. So confident going to the second leg. Confident man. going yeah. into the second yeah. leg. Confident, super confident Favorites in this team. to go to the semifinal. Yeah, I'm, a- I'm confident going to the semifinal, yeah. but we're meeting Chelsea. We're meeting a strong Chelsea, a hungry Chelsea. And t- I feel like Tuchel finally has a complete team. You know what I'm saying? Because Tuchel has always had, like, super unbalanced teams. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like he finally has a team that he can maybe compete with. So he knows I'm, a lot of them, too, man. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really excited for the potential Real Madrid-Chelsea semifinal. Yeah. And now we can jump to the other side of the bracket. Um, Manchester City coming away with the win. Against Borussia Dortmund, two one. Mm-hmm. Holland, a- Holland, 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 Holland. Man, it's crazy how when we see Borussia Dortmund play or anything with Borussia Dortmund, it's Holland, bro. Facts. You know what I mean? Super boo. Yeah. And uh, Marcelo, you watched the game. What did you think of the game? Man City coming away with the win. Two That's one. I. I wanted to watch that game because I like how Man City plays. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Pep. Uh, so obviously, obviously, bro. <laughs> obviously. I mean, obviously, bro. Yeah. Uh, so. Man City's a scary team, bro. Like, once they get in that bag, Kevin De Bruyne, for me, one of the best, one of the best players in the world, man. That dude is a joy to watch. When he And he just came back, so um, he's going to be fresh. Uh, and Dorman, watch out, dude, because they got that away goal. They're down, though. Yeah. Watch out, they're dude. Down, but they're such a good team. It's Man City, bro. It's Man City, bro. They are it's Man such City. a good team. They're bro. cursed, bro. They are they're such cursed. a good team. They're down, though, mate. They're down. That oil could, money isn't cutting it for them. They bro, need. I could totally see Holland, for example, like yeah. snapping, bro. Could you like imagine? maybe just, yeah. just getting two goals. Could you imagine he could, bro. Football? You I'm just I mean? saying, look, I'm just saying, look. Shout out to my boy Danger, big city fan. He's bro, he's hyped about City. He's he's been telling me that this this how, the, this is a year for them, bro. How could you not be, bro? Look at the squad they assembled. To watch them play is a joy. They it's don't like, have a yeah, fucking it's, B team. It's, it's you know really what I mean? Nice they don't team. have a fucking B team, right? The B team, it's the, the B team performs. Yeah. Exactly. It's the, like bro, they could they could have two teams and then exactly. in the Premier League, the, the B team probably be mid table to high, bro. Bro, I was bro. just about to say that. I was just about to say Man City's B team makes yeah. top six. For sure. <laughs> Man City's B team makes oh, top yeah, six. Dude. Yeah. But they are they are cursed in the Champions League, man. They can't they can't clutch it and you got Haaland bro I mean this is his competition Haaland Haaland, Haaland is going to get his heart broken at Dortmund and it's going to force his, his exit, exit. Yeah. he's going to force Plus, his exit there's no way he does not play Champions League there's no way he plays Europa League bro 
Yeah, no way. He's too, too much of a talent. Is, is he the, the biggest forward name in the world oh, right now? I think he's one of the biggest, best is, young talent in the world. Is he the hottest, he the hottest him, name him, on him the market? Mbappe. Him and Mbappe, Mbappe are Mbappe. the biggest. Who's hotter? Mbappe. Who's hotter? Who's hotter? Mbappe. Mbappe. I think Mbappe, Mbappe, Mbappe is Mbappe, Mbappe, because yeah. he's already got a World Cup. Yeah. He's, he's, he Mbappe, is, bro. His style of play is different, too. He has more... Well, man, Holland is just as good, man. I don't want to... They're both, bro. They're just I think I like Mbappe a little talent. more. Yeah. But 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, one going into... Uh, where they go? Germany now, right? They go to Germany. Yeah, go to Germany so, in a way, goal, bro, that's no not fans. Field, No fans? No fans? It doesn't matter, though. Dortmund, doesn't Dortmund, matter, though. Dortmund's known for their fans, bro. It doesn't matter, though, that's bro. Still okay, bad, okay. Man. Doesn't matter, right? They're going to go toe-to-toe, hit for hit. I'm going to go with City, bro. Yeah. I'm going to go with City, bro. It's a quarterfinal. I'm going to go with City. Holland's young. Holland's young. Sancho's young. That team is known to get their heart broken. City, City is big boys, mate. City is big boys that have big investments that want to make Big money and yeah. big trophies. And win this competition, bro. That's yes. all they want, bro, yes. is to win the Champions League. Bro, I got, I, I got City all the way, I bro. think City goes through. Yeah. I, think, I think City ultimately, wins. Ultimately. I think City wins, but don't sleep on Dortmund. Yeah. I, I, like yeah. I like that. I like that. I like don't that. Sleep don't, don't, sleep, don't sleep on it. I like that. And that away goal Sancho, is key. too. Away goal is key, bro. Away goal is, away key, goal is key. Yeah. key. Watch out, dude. So Holland could snap. Holland could snap, like you Watch out, dude. That's all I'm saying. But you know what's also funny, though? Even if Holland snaps or whatever... It's, it's going to be good for him because he's going to City anyways. Holland's going to City. Holland's going to City. That's like, city. That's like KD maybe. Joining and Golden he's State. Not going bro. To city. You know Holland's going to City. Well, They're missing, bro. Come to Chelsea, bro. Whoever, <laughs> whoever, whoever nah, does pick not. up Holland, though, they got to give 20 mil to his agent, bro. Yeah. City you, can do that, no problem. You saw that shit? Chelsea can do that, too. Man, no, yeah, they could. On the real, just 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 to finish the, the City dormant, Man City started with no forward. Bernardo Silva yeah. was oh, playing yeah. like a false nine situation. Dennis. So definitely City, need, if there's any team, top team in the world right now, who needs oh. a center oh. forward, yeah, it's City and Haaland, you know, yeah. could be that They're guy. They're losing Aguero. Gabriel Jesus can't yeah. cut it. Bro, they, his, his, him coming to City is like the fifth infinity stone, bro. Yeah. That fifth infinity zone, then Pep going. Facts. Hey, hey, bro, he that looks be like scary. That would he be insanely like scary. That would be scary, bro. Yeah. That would <laughs> be scary. <laughs> that would be scary. But so, not for the biggest game. Uh, this Bayern. is my personal. Yeah, the biggest Bayern. game, bro. This should have been the, the final, biggest, bro. Bayern PSG. Yeah. The this should have been final. What? Bayern which one? Which one? Bayern PSG. Hey, hey, we already Bayern saw that shit. We already saw that bullshit. No, no, no. We already saw that bullshit. Lewandowski. No, no one. No one. And they have quite a Nabri is out. Nabri is out. This is. Mm-hmm. Plus, bro, they they shot like thirty one shots, bro. They Navas, like, Navas, they, Navas, they, Navas, Navas did it. Did, Navas, 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 incredible, yeah. bro. Navas. But they were going at it, bro. Like they were, they were like, fuck it. this. You know hey, bro, I mean? and honestly, shout out to Navas because he's from the Concacaf, bro. Yeah. Everybody always sleeps on that stat. That you, they think Navas is like some. I don't know. I mean, like it just whenever that's, you say that he's from the. Yeah. Concacaf is like wow, that's that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, cool! Like you're not pretty top cool. tier or some shit. Yeah. You know? and, and just that's, and that's the vibe in, in 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 you know in Europe and stuff yeah. is when you're a Concacaf player like, uh, yeah. and, and there's more hard feelings between Navas and how he left Madrid. Bro, and, and, and if we're also being real, him, if we're also being real, Chicharito didn't get a contract with Real Madrid because he wasn't European. Yeah. Because he was Mexican, they probably just discard. And and it's, it's it's crazy to say that because Real Madrid had a good spell with uh, Hugo Sanchez. Yes, I know that he was awesome. Whatever. Yeah. But Chicharito wasn't given fair treatment at Real Madrid, and he did good, bro. He's he not did that good, fantastic. Bro. Yeah, he's he, he, he was he was at he was at he was, at, right. he was, he was at a good right. time though. At at that point, at that point, he was he was at a good. He had the best stats coming off the bench in the top five leagues at that, that point. That is true. That is true. He, he had the that best stats coming when off the bench. Bayern, he left from uh, uh, Leverkusen. Bayern, and he Bayern, had a hell of a season. He, he, bro, hell of a season. Hell of a season. Yeah. He he was doing good. So when he went there, Madrid, he had a hell of a team. He was with James, a, a young Tony Cruz, Cristiano. It was it was a a stat team you know what i'm saying but real madrid gives so much patience to their spanish players mm -hmm. and i've been a fan of real madrid since the early 2000s so I, i've seen a lot of players come and go forwards turnover rate is super high right chicharito wasn't given fair treatment at real madrid and that's just facts plus navas went to a psg bro so they're also in contention to play the, win the champions league i mean he's, i think psg got it he went to the perfect Perfect club to like try to compete. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that doesn't give a fuck. Like, bro, he you know he could I mean? he could potentially give four Champions Leagues. No, That's he already has. Does he have four? Fuck. Does so do you think Bayern no, turns it around three. in the three. second leg? Yes. Too, bro. So. This is gonna be a game. Bro. It is gonna be. Yeah. A game. This is gonna be a it fucking is. game. That's because a game Bayern, to watch. Bayern are like, oh okay, 
Okay, okay. They're, you know, they got, they got, okay, okay. They're going to go in like that, yeah. that German blood, bro. Oh, that fucking they're going to be blood. mad. You know how they are? You know yeah. how they are? They're all black as <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thomas Muller, he's a fucking dick. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that type of vibe, you know? Yeah. They're gonna, and then the French, the French, they're going to lose to Paris. They're, yeah. you know, they got. Oh, <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? The bro, French, the French. When they, when they picked him up in the draw, Thomas Muller came out with a selfie video talking about, like, man, we're excited. He was kind of like yeah. laughing. Like, so that's, now that, this that's is so going to be a hell of a game. That, that's so crazy how that spills into, like, football. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Germany, not like. Well, it's cause because it's the Europe, bro. It's like yeah. all this stuff that, you know, it's a different vibe over there because the countries are so, you know, it's. There's so much in play. Nationalities matter over there. Where you're from, like, yeah. as a soccer player, that matters. If you. Yeah. Bro, could you imagine if, if Messi was Spain, was Spaniard, and they almost wanted him to be a Spaniard, or all these other country players that, like, had parents from different countries? Them deciding which country they're going to represent is a big deal, bro, yeah. over there. So mm-hmm. all this that takes in play, the history of the country. Ansu Fati was a, was, a, was a big deal because yeah, he yeah. chose to play for Spain. 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 Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was one of the most good. recent ones. Yeah, yeah. He's, really good. he's injured, good, though. I know. So he's hopefully, really hopefully he can come hopefully back soon. Yeah. Crack. He's crack. Good. He's crack young. Mundial. He's this young. is a crack mundial. He's young. Give crack. him a bro. Anyway, fact, go ahead, Danny. No, no, no. I was going to say, I think I was thinking about Danny. Was that? I think PSG take this one, cause think about it. Bayern Munich, let's put some respect on their name. They just won a sextete, bro. A sextete. Yeah. Fuck them. The only team oh, who did that though, Barcelona. But yeah, they did. Okay, they okay, did. They, they, did. did. They, they did. did. Which I think, like like most cycles, you go to the very very top. There's gonna be a, you know, there's gonna be a down. Yeah. So I think PSG take this one, bro. I think PSG is gonna take the whole thing. The, the I don't whole know. Thing. I think PSG takes the whole bro, thing. Bro, it's harder for PSG because then they got to play the winner of City and Dortmund. Por eso, right? the, the other side, honestly. PSG the other City? Side, honestly, PSG City. Oh, my man, God. That's a wow. good matchup, dude. Wow. That should, that, be, that should be that a should final. That should be the final. Bro, the other bro, side. Bro, this side of the bracket, it doesn't matter who wins. It's bro, be it's a such a tough game. Champions yeah, League. Bro, it's such a tough Champions League. Like, Man City, PSG should be the final, bro. No más Porto la caga. I haven't, bro. I. I haven't felt about the, the Champions League like this in a long time, even from Facts. a neutral point of view. Because, like, the past couple of years, we have teams like Ajax in there, Tottenham yeah, in there, yeah, and it's like, yeah. no, my man, it's like, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, but yeah. this this Champions League is different because it's a powerhouse, yeah, bro. It's, it's powerhouse. Packed. packed. You could you could have a Chelsea Real Madrid semifinal, oh, and you could banger, have you banger. could have a City PSG, PSG final. That's bangers. All, all these teams, well, the, this is one thing, though. On the Chelsea side, Chelsea's also like not necessarily like in a rebuilding phase. They're they're at the end of that phase. They they're, they're kind of already built. You know what I'm saying? And also Real, Real is Real is not the Real that they were a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? So both of those teams are are getting back into groove. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So that's gonna be that 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 uh, theme on that side. Yeah. But on this side oh, where yeah. City, it's, it's like so it's like an all out. It's like yeah. a heavyweight. Yeah. Yeah. Heavyweight. It's, 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 heavyweight. A, it's a it's a swinger. Heavyweight. It's basically it's whoever wins on this side, basically who's gonna win the whole thing. Well, they're nah, right. that's that's what you would and think. But don't mine. sleep on the other side. No, no, no. I'm sleep on the other side. I'm sleep on the other side. Oh my god. PSG. Let's go PSG. Let's go PSG. Okay. What's your final? Give me your final. Who's in the final? Tell me right now. As far as second leg still haven't gone, so let's just kind of. P- PSG Real. Who's who in the final? Name the final. PSG Real. Real, Madrid? Real PSG. Real PSG. Because because Real I'm PSG. a Real Madrid fan. I'm gonna say Real PSG. I'm gonna go for City Chelsea, bro. That's Premier League, all Premier League uh, final. That would be, that would be big. That would be a live major, and, and a, major, mate. It could be an all Premier League Europa League final too. But anyway, now nah, let's not talk about Europa League. <laughs> What's your prediction, Melo, for the final? Who plays? I think. I think Real sneak in into oh. that final. Vamos. Vamos. Against. It would be. City's on the other side, right? Yeah, yeah. City. Apparently. I would say Real City. That's. Hey, I, I feel that's like. That's, that's, that's kind of boring. City, city has a. Kind of boring. Hey, City has. Just city a has bit. A, city gonna go out that ass. City gonna get. City will destroy Madrid, bro. bro. Ew, they no. <laughs> they played them before. Ew, they, they already know. They played them before, bro. They, they beat them before, bro. City. So I think. Whoever, I'm telling you, whoever when wins was the last time they played? Side, Real Madrid, Manchester City. They played not so probably a couple seasons ago. They, the, if, Real if, Madrid played like they played Champions League. They uh, played them like in a semifinal, years. like in 2015. 
Something like that. Yeah, it was Pellegrini. It was Pellegrini. It was Pellegrini. Yeah, was that, that was. Yeah. I think that's last last time they played. And I thought yeah, didn't you play? Iwain was playing for uh, Madrid. I think they played group. recently too, bro. Yeah, they, they, they played. In, I think it was in the group stage. I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they played. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, I think, they, I think they, they played recently. Yeah. They did play recently. I mean, dude, as a Chelsea fan, bro, this is insane for me. See, bro, see when was the last time they played, Melo? Yeah, they, they I, mean, I know. Man, you're right. Has, I, think, I think so. Yeah, they played in the 2019. In 2019. Yeah. Uh, in, in in the round of 16. Round of 16. Yeah. Y ganó City, ¿verdad? City ganó. ¿Cuánto? Uh, they, they oh, that's when uh, Veran was, was fucking. Oh, but we were on the plane. plane. Yeah. Oh, okay, but that was, that was that was that was also that was also like silly mistakes at the ah, back. Bueno, silly bueno, mistakes bueno, at the bueno, back. Bueno. We were on the plane. Silly right, mistakes hey, at the hey, back. Pero, we, hey, were, bro, we, were, we were on the plane watching yeah. that shit. That was cool. <laughs> that was a crazy think, trip. I think city, crazy I think trip. Shout out to my boy Daniel and my boy. But overall, man, it's gonna be a great Champions League this season. It's it's this is amazing for us. We're obviously gonna be talking about. El Clásico, you know what I mean? That's such a... El Clásico. Uh, el Clásico. We're going to talk about Real Madrid, Barcelona. Um, we got a Real Madrid fan. Of course, everybody knows Hernán. So I'm going to try sure. to keep him off the biased ranch yeah, of I Madrid. So let's... I'm not biased. <laughs> Come on. For me, I watched the game. We all watched the game, man. Yeah. Badass game. Yeah, I, haven't, partidazo, partidazo. Yeah, I haven't seen a Clásico that, that, that badass... Uh, Nice, bro. Nice. Nice, bro. Nice, My bro. bad. Nice, huh? bro. Keep it, keep it. Nice, nice, bro. What the fuck? But uh, bro? I haven't seen um, a classical this badass in a while, in my opinion. You know what I mean? It's, yep. I feel like watching, I'm like, yeah, like it makes you feel back of like how the classical should be. That was a mm -hmm. badass game, bro. Yep. In the rain, yep. you know what I mean? Yep. Barcelona started off pretty good with the ball, of course. I'm with you, was letting him have possession. They were yep. passing around, trying to score. Yep. And then one fucking. One shot, bro. Madrid yep. on the counter. Vinicius yep. Jr. And that golazo de Benzema. It, that's all it was. Like, we watched Barcelona with the ball. Try to, yep. you know, dictate play. Get in there. You know what I mean? Try to pursue. And then, I don't know where. Real Madrid 1-0, bro. Golazo de Benzema. Golazo de Benzema. Benzema. That it, was a badass goal, Yeah, Así los mete, va. Así los mete Benzema. Man, y he's he's like, he's like, he's like, he's he's like, 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 Bro, let me know. Let me know whenever and you're then, ready for and me, bro. Then, and then, the, okay, and then Tony Cross with the beautiful ball to Vinicius Jr., right? Is that? No. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I meant Tony Cross's free kick that hit the deflection that went in off yeah. this, right? Yeah, it hit off of this back. Ha, 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 this. Ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> bro, chill. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Nah, nah, nah I just... No. I nah, mean, nah, it was nah, a deflection, nah, you know? So, Tony Cross, you know, it deflected off. You said, who, who was that? So, the... so Des put his back to it. Yeah. And, yeah, it, and it went, yeah, it went toward, towards goal. And he, then he should be like this. I don't he know he why. should have put his chest. Yeah. I mean, Where you at, Captain America? Well, all these, all these guys the, on who's Twitter. Who's standing at the post? Uh, uh, Jordi Alba was, Jordi was Alba? Uh, first post. Yeah. Um, Jordi Alba could have cleared it off the line, but he closed his eyes and he like put his head a little bit and the ball kind of just slid off yeah. of his head. So he definitely could have cleared it off the line if he would have, you know, just kind of kept track of it. He could have, boom, hit it up, sent it to the corner. But that was 2-0 right there. That was, yeah. that, was that, was like, wow. that was a dagger. But... But Barca didn't really like Barca was looking bad the first half. The best thing for them was that we went to the half, and Barca came back in the second half, and they they were looking good. They yeah, they, they could have they could have yeah. tied it up. If, if if I'm being real, yeah, I mean, Barcelona could have tied it up. Almost scored an Olimpico, bro. He almost scored an Olimpico. Scored Shout Olympico. out to the post. That was lucky though. I don't think he was really trying to do that. You don't think he meant to score no, an Olimpico? I don't think so. It's messy, bro. I think it bro, was. I think it was people, just, no, it's messy. people are going to say that it's messy. Yeah, of course he tried messy, it. Of course he tried it's it. Messy. Genio, Dios. Yeah, Genio, right. Dios. And then on, Barcelona bro. picked one up, right? They scored 2 1, and now we got a game. Yeah, Mingueza, so yeah. Mingueza scored it. Uh, bro, the, the ending to the pretty good play. Bro, too. Was shout so out to Mingueza, awesome. bro. Because he had a game. Bro, I, he had a game. I don't know if y'all remember. There was a story that came out that Barcelona, this, this leaked document came out where Barcelona themselves were talking shit about Mingueza, bro. Th that he was not worth wow. like uh, the first team. Th th this is the thing about Barcelona, bro. We get into some weird. It's a weird club. Like it's it's honestly like, kind of embarrassing sometimes yeah. that this shit comes out. Shout out to Mingueza, bro. Straight that's up. That's fucked up. I didn't know that. That's fucked yeah, up. Shit that's fucked up. Shit club. Shit club. Shit club. Shit club. Shit club. They made really risky investments, bro. You know what I mean? And yeah, you know, they spent when they should have been paying some shit off. Bro, these guys are in debt. But but then the ending, Big bro. Time. The ending off the crossbar. What a game! Bro, what a way that to end the been, classical. That could have been. What a way game. to bro, end the classical. I was bro. watching that game with this dude. I'm not gonna say his name, right? Just to you know, keep his name out there. But he had betted, you know, on the books or whatever. He had betted that four goals were gonna be scored this game. So if Dembele 
would have sank that one. That was his last chance because there were chances yeah. before yeah. that moment for the fourth goal, either three, either three one yeah. or two two, yeah. right? And if they would have scored one more goal in the team, he was going to hit for 200. Dang. He was sick, bro. He was like, ah. He was Dang. so upset. He'll never forget that class. Yeah, game. he was so upset. Barca fan, too, so even more. Uh, even you know, more. You know, he was hurt. He was hurting, bro. And but that's, overall, that's great how, game. That's, overall, how you end, game. that's how you end the Clasico, bro. That's yeah. like yeah. Either, either a close yeah. call, a post, or a goal. Like, you know, it's just – it was. A, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this okay. Clasico. It's been, for me, one of the best Clasicos that's been for a while, mm -hmm. so – Enjoy that it. makes three Clásicos that Real Madrid takes. That hasn't happened in a long time. Yeah. That Real Madrid wins three Clásicos. And Messi row. hasn't scored in a Clásico since Ronaldo left, right? Seven Clásicos scoreless. Seven Man, clean sheets a, from he Messi. Needs, he needs Ronaldo, bro. You think, you think so? think he misses him? He's still the top scorer he in, for in sure Clásico yeah. history, bro. He's still the top scorer in Clásico history? Oh, yeah. By but that, that cool. takes Ram, uh, Barcelona's undefeated streak. They were undefeated. Yeah, yeah. In, in the Liga. 2021. And now yeah. first place, Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. Atletico de Madrid is probably going to play today, if I'm not mistaken. Real Betis. Real Betis they, they play today yeah. maybe like at two, Yeah, I mm -hmm. think. But if they win, they go top. But they could they could choke. Hey, Atletico is going to hey, choke this season, bro. La Liga bro. is a fight right now. La Liga is a fight. Choked. Everywhere is a fight, bro. Everywhere is a fight. But I guess this is a good spot to uh, transition into yeah. the top four just, just for a quick bit, bro. Everywhere oh. is a fight right now because yeah. usually, I mean, okay, so in La Liga. Bro, there's, there's, sorry to cut you off, but there's a title race in France, bro. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? That's yeah. like, that. now yeah. that's, that's crazy. Like, bro, that is that's crazy. Yeah. Lil B, PSG. Italy also has a good race Italy right has now. A, no, too, Inter, Inter kind of have it in the back. Nah, I think Inter got it in the back. Nah, Inter kind of nah. have it in the back. I mean, let's let's uh, rank it, okay? I think the only for sure is uh, rank it by well. like like this. I would say La Liga title race is the hottest. Yeah. Number two is England's top four race, then France and maybe Italy. Oh, you know what? Italy over Italy, Italy over yes. France. Yeah. I would yeah. say. Yeah. But it, it's it's so crazy, and we always talk about this. And 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 Bali and Melo, everybody. We always talk about how crazy the top four race in england is yeah, how yeah, much yeah. money is involved with these quote, things just crazy. quote arson Wenger, bro he said getting top four to him was like why you, why you gotta quote him isn't that what he said why, why do you gotta quote him because he because yeah, he, he's an arsenal that was manager because he, he he's an arsenal manager that. Oh, that is that, was that was why you're quoting him that was stupid hey hey that was hey keep keep my my manager's name at your mouth yeah you stand by your fucking mouth bro you hated him invincibles that's all i'm gonna say but anyways, I mean, look, we got Leicester lost today uh, to West Ham. Well, West Ham almost let them come back. Well, they did let them come back. But right? so, so West Ham jumped Chelsea. So look, this is the table, right? The top four. United pretty much today's win, I think, cemented their top four. Yeah, so for sure. There's only two spots, number third and fourth. Melo, can you get the La Liga table? Uh -huh, mm -hmm. the, uh, only third and fourth are the last two spots, in my opinion, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so for two spots, you know how many clubs are fighting for that? There's five clubs fighting for two spots, bro. Mm-hmm. Right now, Leicester, Leicester, 56 points, West, West Ham, 55, Ham. Chelsea, 54, Liverpool, 52, and then Tottenham. Tottenham. Uh, they're kind of... Nah, I, 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 no, I think... I, think I, I don't think Tottenham nah. are... Man, I don't see nah. them. So, so four teams fighting for two spots. Liverpool, Chelsea, West Ham, and Leicester. Yeah. And there's only... What is that? Seven games left, bro. Wow. Hell of a race. So Champions like, League football. Let's Hell look at the race. ramifications for clubs or whatever. Imagine Leicester and West Ham get Champions League. Will West Ham get Champions League football. You know how that's fucking crazy. good that's good. gonna be for their club, bro. That question, so question for Same you. For Leicester. Question for you. So question for you. Crazy. Question for you. If Chelsea pass, well, if, if Chelsea, well, nothing is certain in soccer. If Chelsea make it into the next round, right, and they make it past that round and they make it to the final, and they're having trouble with players on like you know making changes and everybody getting pt and like staying healthy and stuff would you throw the top four race and try to focus only on on the champions league final Jeez, that's a hard that's one, tough. you know what i'm saying and like risk it bro because what if, league, what if bro. what if you make it to the so champions league final and throw away top four and you lose a final like fuck dude all so all the plans all the prep ultimately you're asking me whether i would want to win the win? champions league and miss top four well, or get top four league. and lose the Champions League. I mean, obviously, you want to get both. Yeah, but if I had to choose one? If you had to choose yeah. one. Bro, I'm going to have to go with top four, bro. Okay. But look, winning the Champions League is insanely, it's amazing, right? Yeah. It's, it's like the pinnacle of European football. It, winning the Champions League, you're declared the best club in all of Europe, mm -hmm. right? So it's such a badass award to win, right, for your yeah. club. 
But for you to miss out on Champions League and then not, bro, the number one thing for all clubs overall, long period of time and success is being constantly in this competition, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for yeah. us to miss it again, bro, no. And then plus, the, if we were, if we go to Champions League, that opens up revenue for you to bring players in. It's like a, a nice boost. Like you're getting a little bag for the next season, a little bag for the next season. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'd rather play Champions League every year. And, you know, so, but... Man, it's such it's so tough, bro. Because, yeah. you know, and then yeah, I say a, that because a, we've already question. because we've already we've won a Champions yeah. League. How do we never, bro? Let's go for that Champions League, bro. Yeah. But it you know it kind of helps my train of thought. We want both though, and of course, there's a chance. Of course. There's, there's a chance. chance bro. If Chelsea do the double, could Mason Mount be in contention for? Uh, Ballon no. d'Or. Fuck, Fuck no. no. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck. The only, the only way. The only way Mason. Look, listen, the, the only the only way <laughs> Mason Mount generational talent. The only way Mason Mount can make it in Balo in the World Talk is if he takes Chelsea to the top four and he bags some goals in the in the, the second leg, semifinals, and the finals. He has yeah. to like explode right now. You can't now. forget the Come Euros on. are this summer. And the Euros and the Euros too. And, and the World Cup's next year, bro. With Mbappé in the in the scene, come on, bro. bro. He, uh, Mb- M- come on, he, Mbappé has come on. unfortunately come on. that's bro, that's disrespectful, bro. Bro, you, wait, you, wait, you, wait. You, no, you, you can bring Mountain Mbappé, bro? Are you serious, bro? Wait, wait, wait. wait. My fault. Oh, fuck. Mbappé My fault. has yeah, the, the marketing, uh, you know, behind him. Yeah. And unfortunately in soccer, in, in the modern scheme. And he's also French. He's French. FIFA's ran by Ballon nothing but French. You know what I'm dudes. saying? So Mbappé has it. Has it we love bad, another bro. French, man. So there's going to be some epic games coming up for this top yeah. four, bro. Liverpool, they need that money, bro. They need to get in there, bro. Liverpool yeah. might as well throw away Champions League already. And just no, they have the a chance, four. bro. They're only, nah. they're only four points under Leicester. No, no, bro. I'm saying Liverpool might as well throw Champions League away yeah. and oh, focus on top four. Uh, you yeah, never yeah. know. It's just one game. They can go hard for one they game. Bro, did you see? Did you, oh, real quick, did you see what Klopp said? He was like, oh, yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. they're they're gonna come to a real stadium. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what you're gonna say, bro. Ooh. Matter of fact, I, why don't you why don't you think about your actual game plan instead of starting Nabil Keita? Who the what? fuck would start Nabil Keita, bro? Are you are you serious? You're going to really put Nabil Keita, a guy that really hasn't played a lot this season, against arguably one of the best midfield trio of all time. Are you dumb? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Plus, so, Klopp, Klopp has been bringing this. He always, lately, he's been like always praying out. Oh, remember when he said the wind was, there was something with the wind was too strong. That's why they couldn't play that good. So yeah. he's always bringing these other things up. It's like in his arsenal now. Bro, know, so Anfield, like, Anfield without fans is like Nelson Field in Austin, yeah. Texas. Yeah, Who the fuck cares? Basically. Who the fuck cares, bro? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just being straight up. And so, if, and if, and whatever. if you want a, a little taste of that, YouTube, Man City arriving to Liverpool for the Champions League, sec- first leg or second leg. And watch the videos of that bus pulling up Dude. to Anfield, bro. Red it's smoke. insane. I, I like to watch that video every oh, once yeah. in a while just to I, see. Yeah. Didn't, didn't they break the windows? Passion. Bro, they were throwing they shit at the bus. Too, they broke yeah. windows, I think. Yeah. For real? They broke bro, the windows, I think. Bro, YouTube, uh, Man City arriving to Anfield for the Champions League final. Or yeah. Champions League game. All right. And, bro, that video is insane. We're going to watch it after. We're yeah, going to watch yeah. it after the park. But, yeah, man, the top four races is... is, is it's man, it's heating up, and it's it always does. To be honest with you, man, it always yeah, it always does. That's the thing about the Premier League. The Premier League is so good that like you know every the four, five, six positions matter, and the bottom matters too. So yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's like so that we're much gonna, money involved in. It. That's why it's crazy. That's gonna be something that yeah. we're definitely gonna gonna keep up with. Yeah, that's yeah. But shit, is that is that all we want to talk that's about? What we got, yeah. man. That's we about kinda, it. We kind of, you know, skimmed through a little bit of the European yeah. football talk. We we talked about uh, Austin FC. So, man, I hope y'all enjoyed it. We're top we're, flight podcast, yeah, baby. Top flight podcast, and we're uh, we're gonna get better, and then uh, you know, keep making content for you guys. Thanks for uh, supporting us. Yes, Shout sir. out to everybody. Shout out to La Murga also doing that thing. Yeah, for sure, yeah, amazing. And um, like I said, my boy Hernan, it's my boy Bali, B, yes, Marcelo. Appreciate y'all supporting us, and we'll be back with more. Yeah. Thank you. Let's do it.